Hello, folks, and welcome to your White Out Afternoon Video Weather Briefing on this Wednesday, the 15th of November. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Huer. A strong cold front is approaching the state, and we'll be looking at a high wind event for several hours this evening and tonight through about midday Thursday. Extreme blowover threat for sections of I-25, I-80, and South Pass, plus adjacent secondary roads for enclosed trailers under 40,000 gross vehicle weight. A touch of light snow, snow shower activity tonight and Thursday in areas as well, but none of it will amount to anything. Trending milder and pleasant for Friday and Saturday. Let's dive right into here this evening and tonight. Yellow shaded areas are the locations that will be experiencing the strong and gusty winds this evening and tonight. We're going to be looking at increasing southwest to west winds, 20 to 35, gusts of 40 to 55 throughout this area, 55 to 69 mile per hour gusts for wind prone locations and extreme blower threat developing overnight tonight into early Thursday. And if we were to hit any 70 plus mile per hour gusts in the closure for enclosed trailers would increase to 50,000 gross vehicle weight and under, but we're expected to stay just below the 70 mile per hour mark. Chilly and dry overnight tonight, light to breezy winds out here in the east. Generally chilly, dry to mostly dry, light to breezy winds. Other non-shaded areas overnight tonight with a little bit of some light snow and snow shower activity developing into and through the overnight hours for this light blue shaded area. We'll be looking at possible trace accumulations, lower elevations. That could be hard to accumulate though or fine, but one to two inches will be a possibility. Mountain passes, including South Pass, Battle Mountain Pass, possibly Snowy Range Pass, maybe the higher elevations of Wyoming 230 or Highway 230 in the southern Sierra Madres might see some very small accumulations as well along sections of I-80 along the three sisters between Evanston and about Granger to Lyman. Otherwise, though, the snow showers down here in this area will not be meaningful here tonight nor early on Thursday. On Thursday, a little bit of some snow shower activity expanding across higher elevations throughout the state. But again, just a trace to maybe two inches on mountain passes with the best snowfall possibly being here across Battle Mountain, Snowy Range, and also higher elevations of Highway 230, maybe South Pass. Could see trace accumulations across lower elevations elsewhere here through the blue shaded areas. But really is the wind on Thursday through early to midday. That's going to be the main weather feature and weather topic throughout the yellow shaded area. Strong and gusty winds at one time or another on Thursday. Starting up here in the north and northeast, it'll be a mid to late a.m. through afternoon. North northwest wind as a cold front plows south on Thursday. We'll be looking at northwest winds here, 15 to 30, gusts at 35 to 45. Here across the central, eastern, and southeastern sections of the state, initially in the morning hours, southwest to west, a.m. winds 15 to 35, gusts of 40 to 50 with those 50 to 69 mile per hour I-20 or crosswinds on I-25, Cheyenne north towards Wheatland and then Douglas and Casper, maybe as well sections towards Buffalo. Likewise, the outer drive of Casper. Then as the cold front moves in mid to late morning, the winds will really start to die down as far as those west to southwest winds. Then we'll be looking at blustery north to northwest winds, 15 to 30 gusts of 35 to 40 here through this area through the afternoon and early evening hours. Maybe a few scattered rain or snow showers as well Thursday afternoon and evening out in the east and southeast, but it will not amount to anything. Then back here across south central and sections of southwestern Wyoming, Southwest to west AM winds 15 to 35 gusts of 45 to 55 throughout the area with 55 to 69 mile per hour wind gusts on I-80 Cheyenne to Laramie also Laramie to Rollins likewise in the Wyoming 287 789 area and also south pass through the early morning hours and we'll specifically Talk about times and locations here in just a second. Then like the breezy overnight winds, thanks to that cold front, winds will die down during the mid and late afternoon hours throughout these areas here. Specifically for road impacts on Thursday, moderate impacts from the strong gusty winds throughout the yellow shade areas. High impacts for enclosed trailers under 40,000 gross vehicle weight likely overnight tonight through early to midday Thursday in the red dashed areas. 
Low impacts out here in the green areas from a few a.m. snow showers and possibly a few slick spots or areas primarily on our mountain passes and higher elevations of I-80. Likewise, here across our southern mountain passes. And for those wind closures, the extreme blowover risk expected closure to enclosed trailers under 40,000 gross vehicle weight. I-80, Cheyenne to Laramie, 3 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Thursday. There will be some 60-plus mile-per-hour gusts. Then I-80 Laramie to Rawlins starting earlier tonight, 11 p.m., ending earlier, though, Thursday, 11 a.m. I-25 Cheyenne to Wheatland Thursday, 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. Then Wheatland to Casper, slightly earlier start, Thursday, 1 a.m., 10 a.m. ending likewise for Highway 258 Outer Drive in the Casper area and then Highway 28 South Pass from 9 p.m. this evening to 4 a.m. on Thursday, 60 plus mile per hour crosswinds. Thanks for watching today. Visit wildroad.info for current road conditions, all your wind closure information or 511.